Hi everyone, it's Laurel here and I thought I'd share with you an updated crafty room tour. Uh, first of all, I'm filming with my iPhone so I'm holding it with my hand so you'll have to excuse it if it's shaky. I'm trying to be as steady as possible but you know it's hard when you're holding your iPhone and trying to talk at the same time so I hope you guys don't get sick. But anyway, I work in this little tiny corner of my uh, bonus room which is upstairs. Eventually I'll be moving, we'll be all doing some shifting and modifications. My son will come up here, my daughter will go into my son's room, and I will move my craft room is to what is now my daughter's room. Uh, her room right now is the smallest in the house, which works because it's a nursery, but eventually she's not going to want to sleep in a crib. So anyway, you walk in through this door right here. Oh, I'm so trying to not shake and make y'all want to just vomit everywhere. Anyway, let me show you this little thing. This is a little cubby bookcase thing I got from Target. I keep it off to the side. It's, you know, not really that pretty. Uh, but on here I keep my paper trimmer and my scoreboard and all these cubbies hold various things. The bottom six cubbies are for my kids and then the top three cubbies hold my punches and my punch boards and things like that. I also store all the cards that I make and just don't feel like filing away here on this little Pottery Barn card hanger thing. Uh, Jen Shirkus uses this for her Christmas card. She has a picture of it in her loft and I absolutely loved it. But when I bought it, it was super long for that use. So I decided to uh, hang my cards on here. All right. So that's that area. Ooh, I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. All right. These two top things are things I got from Ikea on my recent trip. That pinwheel is hilarious. That is covering up a little hole that I need to spackle and repaint. So anyway, I got these. I will link to what these are called. Phil Torp, I think is what they're called. And they come in white and green. My store only had white, which is all I would have gotten anyway. But I absolutely love them. I think this is so cool. They're labeled on Ikea as utensil caddies. And there are pictures of them uh, in people's kitchens and stuff. But a lot of people use these for their craft room as well. And I just love them. I love the black iron look. I love the little, the little containers. I love this thing right here. You could also use these as planters if you want. They actually come with a little insert in the bottom uh, for planters. So if you guys are into succulents and stuff like that, this is an option for you. Very inexpensive. I think this was $6.99 for each one. This might have been $12.99 or something like that anyway. I don't know. I'll link to these products on my blog post and also in my YouTube description. But this little guy right here stores all of my Distress products. I have Distress sprays, stains, and paints. And so they host all that and I relocated them from a drawer because my daughter was getting into them. You'll see that some of them are missing stickers. It's because my daughter peeled them all off. <laughs> and so I was tired of remaking those. So that's what I do here. This little guy was originally up there where that little pinwheel is. So I moved it down. This is like a little window frame with some chicken wire in the back that I saw in an antique store that I bought. And this is where I hang all of my cards that you guys send me. So I, all my Christmas ones are still downstairs, but the ones that I've gotten over the years, um, I hang here and I also have, these little guys are things that my, my son made. He read Flat Stanley last year, and so he made a Flat Lucas and a Flat Lauren, who is my niece. So I thought it was cute, and I hung that there too. Anyway, so that's what that is. I think it's cool. I don't know if it looks corny being so low to the ground. What do you guys think? But that was really the only option for a location uh, up here at this time. But anyway, prayers that Lily doesn't mess with it up. Okay, this is where a bulk of my stuff is stored. This is my Ikea Expedite. One of my readers um, said they renamed the Expedite, so I'll go on there, find out what she said it was renamed to, and make sure to link to the right products. But this is the Expedite bookcase, and you can buy these drawers uh, separately, and then you can buy the cabinet separately. So I bought the bookcase, and obviously I kept the bookcase as is, as the top two shelves. Then here, I bought four sets of drawers. They come in pairs, and then I bought four cabinets. And that's the best way that I have found to keep as much stuff. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff. It's insane how much stuff I have uh, in an organized fashion here. So these little white bins also come from Ikea. This hosts, they all host different things. They're all labeled here. This is a three-tiered wire rack I also got from Ikea. It holds all of my pattern papers. Here are, these are, came from Michael's. These are little plastic uh, jars here and they hold my distress refills and in the back holds some of my twine. And then this one holds all my little fingertip daubers. Up here is my wall of cubby. I have some Velcro on the bottom of the cubby, or the top of the cubby rather, and the bottom of the stickles. 
and I just stick them up there and they hang. Now sometimes they'll fall and scare the crap out of me while I'm in here, but you know, if you've got some good Velcro, it'll be okay. <laughs> this is where I store all of my cards that I make. Um, I have them labeled and this is where they all eventually go here. These are just plastic uh, folders from Target and I just cut them down, cornered the angles and created labels with my label makers. So that's that. Below, I use the same system as Jennifer McGuire uses. Uh, these are little bins. I'll link to them on Amazon. I can't remember the names of them off the top of my head. But anyway, this is where all of my stamps, dies, everything goes. I have them organized. Um, some are organized by company, depending on how much I have. And then others I just have. Like, for instance, the only companies I have are Lawn Fawn, A. Jillian Vance Design, um, Ellen Hudson, and Winnie and Walter. And then um, all the rest are just organized by category. And then I mix and match the, you know, the stamps and dies in there. My dies I have organized by alpha, borders, foliage, frames, miscellaneous, shapes, tags, and words. And I found that to be pretty helpful as well. So as you can see, I'm busting out of this, this thing here. I do need, do need to go through and purge some of my stamps that I don't, um, I don't use anymore. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but um, yeah, I got to figure out a way to incorporate a second one of these, but I don't have a free cubby. You see my problem? What do y'all think? I don't know. I guess I could probably move this somewhere. This, these hold all my supplies, like my refills, um, all kind of craft magnets, bunch of refills, glues, pop dots, foam dimension, that kind of stuff. This hosts all my pattern paper. So if I was to bring in a second one of these, where do you think I should put it? Help me. Help me, help me. All right, this holds all my distress sinks. I, I went ahead and moved to the minis. Gosh, they're so much easier to store. I'm just telling you that right now. Then I've shoved some neon inks back here because I needed a stopper, and then I used some of the old blending tools as a stopper as well so this thing didn't go flying back to the end of the shelf there. These are where my distress products were. Now I've just... Um, use them as my mists. So I've got my color blue mists and then some of my other mists. I don't use mists too often, to be honest with you. Um, here's where I hold my big embossing powders that stay in the big tubs. I've only got clear and white, and then I've got some empty tubes there. And this is something I've never used. I need to use. These are these pan pastel things. I don't know how to use them, but I will at some point. I need to do some Google. This is just a miscellaneous drawer. It's where I hold all of my Avery L pockets. I've got some craft magnets. I hold my magnetic die storage from Ellen Hudson, which is fantastic. If you don't have those, please get them. And I also have some bags to when I mail my cards out and then some plastic boxes from a shop I got on Etsy. See back there, it's called the paper kit. I'll link to her. It was very quick shipping and very reasonably priced. All right, this drawer is probably a mess. It is, goodbye, I'm not even gonna talk about that drawer. Okay, these are my rubber stamps. I don't have too many rubber stamps, so I don't have a dedicated storage area for my rubber stamps because I don't have that many. But the ones I do have, I love. These are Impression Obsession background stamps. I love them because they're six by six, so they cover in a complete card base. So I love them and I love their designs. This stamp is just fantastic. Crafty friends are the best of friends. You know, these can go out to half of y'all, make something. And then I've got a couple of rubber stamps. I probably won't, I can't bear to get rid of this little pumpkin from Denami. It's so cute. Um, some of these hero art wooden blocks uh, background stamps I'm going to give to my niece. She's getting into stamping because uh, I just don't use them. I seem to reach for the rubbers. But the, these are really good uh, quality. I just forget they're back here. Out of sight, out of mind, right? This is my watercoloring art section. This is where I keep my watercolored pencils, well, my colored pencils, peerless watercolors, and then some random enamel paints. I don't know why that's in there. That's pretty funny. And, okay, this drawer is hilarious. This was so organized with twine, and then my daughter got it. See? Yeah. So that's all my lawn fawn twine. So I have a couple things leaning here over to the side, which is not ideal, but I don't really have storage for 12 by 12 stuff. So I do have a couple of 12 by 12 
stencils and things that, that like that leaning off to the side. And then I have some of these bigger Winnie and Walter sets. Um, these are Christmas, so I'll probably file them away until next year, to be honest with you. But for now, they're just kind of leaning there. And then down here in these cabinets, this one holds my cuddle bug. This one holds um, more storage boxes, extra storage boxes. And I also have envelopes and things like that in there. No, these are envelopes. These are my envelopes. I don't know what's in here. See, it's not labeled. Label your stuff, people, because I don't even remember what's in there. And then this is more excess supplies and embellishments and things like that. So that's that. Then moving over here into this corner, this is something I got from Ikea. It's a little magnetic board, and I just love it. And this is probably where I'm going to put, you know how when you work, in your, work on cards and then you get sidetracked or whatever, your kid wakes up, I'm going to start hanging them over here instead of crapping up my desk a lot. And uh, also I'm hanging my little Copic color chart. Really doesn't look like I have a lot of Copics when you color in these swatches, but I do. I promise. I have a command hook here that holds my little, uh, I always say clipboard, but it's not. What is this? Cutting board. <laughs> that uh, Jennifer McGuire recommended, again, for watercoloring. And I've got my Peerless watercolors back here. And I've got all my ink swatch, my ink swatches. Again, that's the system by Jennifer McGuire. Okay, this little doodad right here is how I film my videos. A lot of you guys ask. This is it. Isn't it awesome? I could paint it and decorate it up, but honestly, my husband whipped this together for me. It's brilliant. I film with my iPhone. So easy. If you want more information about that, send me an email. All right, moving on. I just kind of jazzed this little area up a little bit. Those shelves are from Ikea. Those spice jars are from Ikea, and I hold my little buttons. I don't use buttons at all, like at all, but I like the color that it brings to the room. So they're a decoration. And then down here, this is Joy. I just painted with some chalk paint. This is uh, little canvases I did using Faber-Castell's Gelatos. I actually have a video of that one. Um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll link to it. And then these little guys, I'm pretty sure I got from Ikea too, and I just filled them with some paper straw for, just for more color. This little guy right here is awesome. Jennifer McGuire recommended it, so I bought it from Land of Nod. Is it land if not? I'll look it up and it will be linked below. And I just hold some things, you know, pens, liquid applique, all my Wink of Stellar pens go here. I do not know why I have these this many palette knives. This is ridiculous. I got to get rid of some of these. Look at this. It's crazy and it's ugly. So I'm purging some of those. Anyway, so I just hold some things like that. This is the Alex drawer unit. I love it. It holds my Vagabond here. This is a little, uh, Container off of Amazon. Again, Jennifer McGuire is the queen of organization. Uh, so I incorporate a lot of her ideas and just tweak them to, to my taste. I just love that she shares all of her organizational tips with us. So this side holds my watercolored paper. This holds my solid color paper that's already been cut down. These, these are scored. These are not. It's a lifesaver. And then these hold little tiny note cards or kind of abnormal cut cards. Okay. Are you guys bored yet? Are you sick? Sorry. Okay, these hold all my inks. Isn't this insane? You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. I've got all my Hero Art shadow inks. I've got my Avery L and Mama Elephant pigment inks, and then some random inks kind of scattered along the middle. Those are my favorite, favorite, favorite inks. This is collectional papers, uh, card kits, or things that just coordinate and match. I clip together with binder clips, so when I need to make something quick, I can pull this whole set out, and I've got all the coordinating papers and stuff that I need. All I need to do is add some stamps. Specialty paper is watercolored paper. This is stencil, uh, 12 by 12 stencil paper. They also carry 6 by 6 as well from Ellen Hudson, so you can make your own stencils with your die cuts, people. I'll link it below, but I'm just saying. Make your own stencils. Okay, watercolor paper. Then I've got some Stick It. I've got a video up on the Blitzy blog. I'll link to it. Uh, this Stick It is fantastic for your die cuts. Fantastic. For intricate die cuts or any die cuts. It's so stinking easy. No more adding glue behind your die cuts. Boop. That's a pain. Okay, this is my embossing powder drawer. Uh, this holds my most used embossing powders. And then over here are the ones that I don't use as much, but I love. I have to say that as far as my favorite company of embossing powders, it would have to be Wow. They make some fabulous embossing powders, and they're really high quality. And aside from the, the uh, Wow, 
I use liquid platinum embossing powder a lot, and I also use Judikins Iridescent Sparkle Embossing Powder the most. Oh, and Enchanted Gold. But other than that, I mean, I, I tend to gravitate towards all the WOW embossing powders. Gelatos are down here. This is a mess. My daughter always comes in the store, so I don't do much to organize it. But I've got gelatos here, and then I've got my really good ones up high somewhere that she can't for classes and things like that. I also store all of my favorite Castell mediums. Chalkboard paint, the glaze, the whip spackle, the gesso, the medium, all of it's fantastic. And then I have my uh, other glues from Ranger all right in here in this drawer. I don't know what's down here. This is a miscellaneous drawer. Oh, here's all my regular size distress ink pads. I couldn't bear to get rid of them. But I do mostly use my, my small ones. I probably should. I don't know. Oh, my God. See how much stuff I have? And then these are magnetic folders that hold all my die cuts I never remember to use because I just don't. These I need to get rid of all these. Seriously. I, I don't grab. I, if I need dies, I go over to my die cut. Yeah. Yep. I'll be going through this too. I have a lot more purging to do. But dies and stamps is next on my list. Okay, we're almost done. Have y'all thrown up yet? Do y'all need a little barf bag? Okay, here's my desk. Look, my pinwheel just fell down. Let me, oh, look. Now you can see my whole I need a spackle. Wah. Okay, let me go a little bit slower. Oh, up top is a bunch of crap. Um, but this is this is what I use to, for my distressing blending tools. I bought the base and then two extra tiers, and that's perfect for the all the distressing minis. And I haven't figured out where to put that chalk paint, so you just ignore that. <laughs> oh, and that little hippo, my son made that in that cute. Okay. Anyway, sorry. My God, I'm getting sick just watching. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, these two little doodads here, these little teal ones, I'm pretty sure all came from Land of Non. I'll link to it, but they're fantastic. This holds my acrylic blocks, the ink, the most used inks that I mean, the like my black ink, my memento black ink, my Versamark, the ink that I use all the time stays on my craft desk, and then my adhesives that I use most of the time stays on my craft desk, and then some water. My acrylic blocks go in that middle. This is a card I'm working on. Oops, you shouldn't have seen that. Do, 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 do. Okay, here, this says things on it. I don't know if you can see it there. But I've got all my pens and writing utensils here. My most used stuff, I always keep my clear wink of Stella. Scissors, paper piercer here. Uh, other glues here. What was that? Yep, see glue. And then um, my paintbrushes here. And then here's my custom stamp from Bossy. Bossy Jossy. Jossy Bossy? Bossy Jossy. Whatever. Not Bossy Joss. I don't know. I'll link to it. But this is my custom stamp and I love it. And then this little guy I got from Michaels with a coupon. And it spins and turns and it holds a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I've got my scissors, my my hole punch, wait a minute, my crocodile, my corner rounder, tapes, glue dots, all my foam dimension. You can host, and then they even have little drawers. So you can host a lot, you can hold a lot of stuff in these little guys. So think about it if you've got room on your desk and make sure you use a coupon. Pretty sure I've seen these at Hobby Lobby too. Then I've got a drawer here on my desk that holds my sequins, my wooden things. I never use them. It's crazy. And then I've got about 50 million reams of this masking tape. Um, wooden embellishments I forget I have. See, that's the problem. When you have so much stuff, you forget you have it. Another, um, <laughs> another stamp. <laughs> that has my old blog on it. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that's that. This is my last thing. Well, almost my last thing. Here I've got my Roz Cog, which I'm just, I love. It's from Ikea. They come in different colors. I got the teal. And I love it, love it, love it. Okay, this isn't the most ideal. I would use this a lot and in a different way if I didn't have Lily because <laughs> she comes and takes everything out. So anyway, this little guy right here also came from Land of Nod. It goes with the coordinating things on my desk. Um, so I just fill it up with different things. All of my stencils are back here, and I store them in these little freckled fawn pouches. They're perfect for that. Here's where all of my embossing paste type things go, right next to my stencil. And then I keep this easy tag repositional adhesive right next to my stencils. They all just go together. And here's all my embossing pastes. Then these little guys are from Ikea as well. And these are only 99 cents. And my friend Yuki mentioned that she clips them onto the side of her Razcog. So I picked up three. And I'm hosting, I've got my 
liquid pearls over here and then just some other stuff. I'll figure, I just got that, so I haven't quite figured out my entire storage system for it, but for now it works. And you just clip it on the side, it's fantastic. And this little insert here came off of Amazon. It's one of those fridge bins things. This is an insert, Antonius insert by Ikea that fits perfectly inside the Razcog. So I've got two of those, perfect, perfect, perfect fit, and they're $3. Uh, and then again, I hold, these are different embellishments. I really love these freckled fawn pouches. They're fantastic. You can buy them on their own. You don't have to get their kit to buy their pouches, by the way. Okay, so that's my Razcog. And then my very last thing, I know. This is a farm table that my friend Eric made for me. Isn't it fantastic? And this is where I typically come to write. Um, I color over here, I, which is why my stuff is right here. And then I write the inside of my cards over here. This is like a different space. Mostly it's for coloring. So this is what I hold all of my distress markers, my big brush pens and other things. This is a utensil caddy from Target. They carry a whole line of these each summer. And then all of my Copics are in this little guy. It's a little fabric bin. And I got it from Hobby Lobby with a coupon and it's got little handles on the side so I can just tote this around with me wherever I'm going to color. This is the best thing for me. It might not match my room in the least, but it works, you know what I mean? And then I keep all my refills that I have, again, in this freckle fawn pouch. These are just miscellaneous pens and things that, uh, you know, for writing and whatnot. And this just kind of holds journaling cards, which I don't do any journaling, and just some random uh, things here. This is the die I found on the floor, on the floor, it needs to go back in its pouch. I think that's a mama elephant die, I'm not sure. And then this just holds all of my random cuts that I never used. That's a little pottery cut I made from um, a pottery class or whatever. So anyway, that's it. And this is stuff I still need to put away. So this is my crafting world right here. So I hope y'all have enjoyed it. I hope you didn't barf too many times in your barf bag. Um, I don't really like this area right here. But when I move into my room eventually next year, I'll have a closet where a lot of this stuff can go. And then there you go. So isn't this fantastic? I love this farm table my friend made. Anyway, so this is it. Let me do one more scroll. I hope y'all didn't get sick. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the YouTube description or send me an email, laurelbeard at me.com. That's L-A-U-R-E-L-B-E-A-R-D at M-E dot com. But don't comment and tell me how many times you threw up. That'll make me feel bad. I try to keep it steady. Um, and again, all everything that I remember I mentioned will be linked up in the YouTube description and also on my blog with some more pictures still pictures so you can look at them and not throw up and uh, if you have any questions or if i left a supply out that you're interested in let me know i'll tell you where i got it from and i'll also link to a couple of videos that might you might find helpful and that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have no oh isn't that pretty that's my view this room has the best view in the house. It overlooks the lake. It's so pretty. That's the one thing I'll be sad about when I move downstairs is I'll miss my view. My view will change to this, this front of the house, the street. But anyway, here you go. Have a great day.